Dilma Biyatorohu. Perhaps it means the coming of the light. That is when the sun comes up in the morning. Umai Vetaher. So what does what does Taher Vetaher mean? Taha Gvara. That the person should make himself Tahor by offering a sacrifice. The Gemara answers, Ama Rabbi Rabba Bar Rav Shila. Im Kain Lema Kra Vitaher. If so, let the verse say Vitaher, not Vitaher. My Vitaher. What does it mean, Vitaher? Tahar Yoma. It means the passing of the day. Ki de Amre Inche, as people say, Iarav Shimsha Vidaki Yoma. The sun has set. And the day has passed. Now a different version of uh, of the verse. The Ma'arava had Rabbarav Shila Lo Shmiya Leho in the West, that is Eretz Israel, they did not hear this of Rabba Shila Uvaula Mi Baya, and they asked this question Hai Uva Hashemesh Biat Shimshohu. This expression, and when the sun comes, over Hashemesh, does it mean the setting of the sun? Or my Vetaher, Tahar Yoma? And what does and what does Vetaher mean? It means the passing of the day. That's Tahar Yoma, the passing of the day. Or Dilma Biat Orohu, or perhaps this means the coming of the light of the following day. Or my Vetaher. Tahar Gvara. And what does Vetaher mean? It, mean? it means the person makes himself Tahor by bringing his offering. Vehada Pashtula Mi Baraita. Subsequently, the result that from a Baraisa, Mi Dikat Mi Dikatane Bivaraisa, since it says in a Baraisa, Siman Ledavat Set Hakohavim, a sign for this matter is the appearance of the stars. Shma minabiyat shimshohu. You learn from this that it means the setting of the sun, or my vetaher, and what does vetaher mean? It means the passing of the day, tahar yoma, the passing of the day. The Gemara quotes the Mishnah's ruling and examines it. Amar, Amama, the Master said, Misha she'akohanim nichnasin, from the time that Kohanim may enter to eat their truma. Urminehu, they contrasted this with a brisa, may matai korinet shma baravin, from when may we recite the shma in the evenings. Mishehe ani nichnas lechol pito pito bemelach, from when a poor person enters to eat his bread with salt. Ad sha'a she'omed lipater mitoch seudato until the time he gets up to take leave from his meal. Sefer Vadai Vipliga Amatnitin, the end of the Brisa, certainly disputes our Mishnah. Resha Milema Pliga Amatnitin. Shall we say that the beginning of the Brisa disputes our Mishnah? Lo, no. Ani Vechohen Chad Shiura Hu. The poor person and the Kohen are the same time. And now a challenge. Urminehu, they contrasted this with another Baraisa. Me matai matchilin likrot kriyat shma ba'arvit. From when may we begin reciting the shma in the evening? Misha'a shebnei adam nichnasin lechol pitan ba'aravei shabbatot. From the time that people enter to eat their bread on Shabbos Eve. Divrei Rabbi Meir. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. Vechachamim Umrim, the sages say, Misha'a she'akonim zakain le'echol bitrumatan. From the time that the Kohanim, who uh, are are entitled to eat their truma. We'll just scroll up.
we'll just go back a line. Vechachamim Omrim. But the sages say, Misha Shakhanim Zakain Le'echol Bitrumatam. From the time that Kohanim are entitled to eat their truma. Siman Ladevat Zet HaKochavim. The sign for this is the appearance of the stars. Ve'afal Pishen Raya Ladevar. And even though there is no proof to this matter, that the day ends when the stars appear, Zecher Ladavar, there is an indication of this matter, Shinemar for its dates, Vanachnu Osim Bemelacha Vechetziam Machazikim, Berachamim Ma'alot Hashachar Adzet Hakochavim. So we did the work with half of them grasping the spears from the rising of dawn until the appearance of the stars. The Omer, and it states, and the night was for us a watch and the day for work. Mayo Valmer, what is and it states further? Bichitema Miki Arva Shimsha Lelia Hu. And if you will say that as soon as the sun sets, it is considered night. The inhu dimchashche umikadme, but they worked after dark and they began work early before dawn. Tashma, so come and learn from this. Vahayulanu halayla mishma vahayomalacha, and the night was for us a watch and the day was for work. Now here's a, the Gemara explains a proof of this Baraisa. It was assumed that a poor person and people begin Shabbos Eve meal are one at one and the same time. Now if you say that a poor person and a Kohen are at the same time, then the sages the opinion of the sages is the same as Rabbi as Rabbi Meir here. Ela Shma Mina rather learn from this. Ani Shiora Lechud Vechohen Shiora Lechud. A poor person is a time to itself. A Kohen is a time to itself, which disproves the earlier assertion that they're the same time. Lo no Ani Vechohen Chad Shiora Hu. A poor person and a Kohen are at the same time. Ani Uvnei Adam love Chad Shirahu, whereas a poor person and people on Shabbat Eve are not at the same time. Here is a further challenge. Ve'ani ve'chohen Chad Shirahu, and a poor person and a Kohen, are they the same time? Urminehu, but they contrasted this with the following Baraisa, Meimatei Matchilin Likrat Shma Baravin. From when may one begin to recite the Shema in the evenings? Misha'a shekadash hayom ba'arvei Shabbatot from the time the day becomes sanctified on Shabbos Eve. Divrei Rabbi Eliezer, these are the words of Rabbi Eliezer. Rabbi Yeshua Amer, Misha'a shekadim mitho metoharim le'echol bitrumatan. From the time Kohanim become tahor to eat their truma. Rabbi Meir Amer, from the time Kohanim, who are Tamei, immerse themselves to eat their truma at night. Amalo Rabbi Yehuda, so Rabbi Yehuda said to Rabbi Yehuda said to Rabbi Meir, "Vahalo Kohanim bibod yom hem tovlim, but Kohanim immerse themselves while it's still day, when people are not yet asleep. So how can you fulfill your your shema at that time?" Rabbi Chanina Amer. Misha'ashia ani nichnas lechol pito bemelach. From the time a poor person enters to eat his to eat his bread with salt, Rabbi Achi ve'amri la Rabbi Acha Omer. Rabbi Acha, and some say Rabbi Acha, he said, Misha'ashia rob benei adam nichnasin lehasev. From the time most people enter to recline for their evening meal. Ve'i amat ani ve'chohen chad shiurahu. Now, if you say a poor person and a kohen at the same time, Rabbi Chanina ha'inu Rabbi Yehoshua. Rabbi Chanina is the same opinion as Rabbi Yehoshua. One moment. Just scroll down.
Ela loves Shmamina. Rather, is it not you learn from this? The time a poor person is a time to itself, and the time to a kohen is a time to itself. Shmamina, learn from this that the two times are different. So now that we've established that a poor person and the time of kohen and, and the time of the kohen are not the same, a new inquiry. Hey, minai hu meuchar. Which one of these two times is later? Mistabra de ani meuchad. It is logical to say that the poor person is later. De i amat de ani mukdam. For if you say that the poor person is earlier, Rabbi Hanina Hainud Rabbi Eliezer, uh, the opinion of Rabbi Hanina in the last bracer is the same as the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer. Ela, la Ela love Shmamina Diani Milcha. Rather, is it not that you learn from this that uh, the time for a poor person is later? Shman, shmamina. Learn from this that the time of the poor person is the later time. Now back to the uh, challenge posed by Rabbi Yehuda to Rabbi Meir. Amamar, the master said in the Brasa, Amar le Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda said to Rabbi Meir, uh, How can you say that the time one may begin reciting the evening Shmar is equivalent to the time that Kohanim immerse themselves? Vehalo Kohanim mibod yom hem tovlim. When Kohanim immerse themselves while it is still day, uh, and the Gemara asks, Shapir ka'amar le Rabbi Yoda le Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Yoda spoke well. It is valid to Rabbi Meir. So what then is Rabbi Meir's view? The Rabbi Meir hachi kama le. This is what Rabbi Meir would say to Rabbi Yehuda. Mi savrat de'ana abain hashmashot didach ka'amina. Do you think that I'm referring to your understanding of Bain Hashmashos? Ana uh, Abain Hashmashot to Rabbi Yossi Ka Amina. I'm referring to Bain Hashmashot as explained by Rabbi Yossi. To Ama Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi said, Bain Hashmashot Keheref Ain. Bain Hashmashot is like the blink of an eye. Ze Nichnas. Then the night enters and the day departs. The Eevsha La Amod a love. And it is impossible to determine whether it is day or night in this very short period of time.